Okay, thanks so much for uh, talking with us. You're welcome. So we just happened to drive along here. We're just leaving Dukem, and we noticed this spot. So can you just tell us more about this great camping site? And sure. your name, too, please. Sure. My name is Abdelaziz Al Hinay. I'm the expert advisor to His Excellency and to OPAS, Oman Public Authority, uh, for special economic and free zones. We're responsible, obviously, for uh, ensuring that the, the development, the infrastructure of the land, whatnot, uh, is built so that we can attract investors. Um, the rationale behind this park, uh, initially it started as a Dukem Beach uh, campsite. And the intention was we've got great views. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we've got a couple of hotels there and we thought, look, there is no issues with providing a place for the community where they can come, spend a bit of time, relax. Uh, it's for all ages. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, it's simple, yet it, it has its own sort of uh, feel to the place. All the uh, materials that you see are, uh, other than the obvious ones, are uh, natural. We wanted to maintain it. We didn't just want to build another big park right. uh, in the middle of nowhere. Uh, but, uh, you know, if you have a look at the park, uh, it's been designed in such a way that, one, it meets the area, keeps uh, the environment very natural, but it's targeted for the communities. The whole intention of this park was that the communities in the past used to come and spend a lot of time on the beaches, and that was fine. But they needed a place, and a lot of talk was put, you know, we need a park, we need a park. So we built a park in the city, but what we decided to do temporarily, initially, is to build an area where motorhomes, so if you have a look, you've actually got power and water already set up. Uh, on this side, uh, this has been designated for campsites only. Um, and we are building a shower and toilets. Those sh toilets are being moved out. Um, a shaded area for anyone who wants to come and enjoy a bit of lunch, I suppose, or, or whatnot. But we tend to use these also, secondary, to have local families come, you know, sell the local food um, and different sorts of things. We have a bike track that was designed, an off-road bike track, just on the other side there. Um, and then uh, if we go to the other area, we've, we're actually moving the football and volleyball now up with all the sand. Okay. So that we're, ju it's just an extension of the beach, basically. Oh, yeah. that's amazing. And then yeah. how many, about roughly how many people can come here? Like how many RVs can it hold at once? And Look, at the moment, we we built it for about nine RVs, um, and that could be extended to 20. Um, we've had a look at the dynamics and some of the statistics from other areas. And generally, you know, we have normally about five, to eight motorhomes, maybe four or five campsites. But you know, it's a trend that's building up in Oman. Um, and we've seen that in Kuwait and the UAE uh, growing. But Oman, it, it's something new. We want to attract, and as you can see, we've got some of the most beautiful sites uh, in the world, yet it, it's not being fully utilized um, because it's a balance between maintaining the natural and inviting the new. Right. And, and yeah. Uh, this park will be changing shortly. We're moving it, giving it to a, a, a more needy community, and we're going to put a bigger one here. Okay. Well, like yeah. you said, we pulled in here because we saw it, and it looks Pass wonderful. Pass by in two so. to three weeks again. Hopefully, it will be some changes, and it will be our pleasure anytime. Okay. Anytime. Thank you. My Thank pleasure. you so much. My pleasure. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Okay, bye.